So all you have to do to draw one of my birds is do a kind of blobby shape up the top for the head and then a bigger blobby shape down the bottom for the body. And then all you have to do is join the two together and you have one of my pigeons. And then you can just add two little stumpy kind of legs down the bottom, a beak up the top, two little eyes, and you can just do little curved bits for the wings. Simple as that. And if you want to draw one of my birds on the side, you can do again the same. Blobby bit for the head up there. Blobby bit for the body off to the side a little bit down there. And then just join them together. So again, two eyes with the beak out to the side this time. Two little stumpy legs. And this time, the wing is on the side, so it's just there. So because I make my characters so simple, I then add things to make them unique so that they stand out a little bit more. So you will know that in this book, I added some rather spectacular red spectacles to my main pigeon. But you could add anything you want to your characters to make them just, oh, I think Frank's got some ideas. Yep. So he wants me, I'll, I'll add Frank's suggestion in a second. But you can now suggest some things that I can add to my pigeons. So use the chat window. If you've got kids with you, ask them what they think I should add to my pigeons to make them unique. I think Frank wants... Um, this one's going to be carrying a dog bone. There we go. So he's got a little treat. Thanks, Frank. What else have we got? Hmm. I might keep going while we wait for things to start turning up. You could add a fancy hat. We could, ooh, <laughs> Julie has told me a ukulele and I'm not sure I know how to draw a ukulele off the top of my head. Oh, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it a little go. How does that look? Does that look like a ukulele, Julie? I bet you could do a better one. Julie is a beautiful illustrator. Oh, we've got a necklace. I'll do a little, um, I'll do a necklace on this one. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, a mohawk. Nice. Has to be multicolored. Oh, I've got some pretty funky looking birds. Oh, my mum is right. Frank did indeed see a squirrel. <laughs> They're still out there. My dog loves to bark at the squirrels. Bunny ears. Thanks, Anil. I'm going to have to do them coming out the back of the, the hat a little bit. Of course my pigeons would get bunny ears. What else have we got? Oh, a rainbow skirt. Thanks, Nicola. Hmm, you might have to put it on behind over here. Some. So when you do your drawings, you can add whatever you like. 
And everything you add to your drawings will tell us something a little bit more about our your character that you've created. It'll tell us something about their personality, what they like, who they are. I always try to show something interesting about the character on the very first page, something that tells you about uh, who they are and the kind of story they're going to be in. Oh, what else have we got? A tuba. Thanks, Shane. That's my partner who is lobbing, <laughs> really challenging things my way. What's the, what's, which one's a tuba? He was in a brass band, so he would, yeah, it's, I know it's really big. I'm just going to do like a, this is like a saxophone, I think. What, what's that? Oh, you got a big, ooh, do, 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 do. there we go. Is that kind of tuba like? <laughs> We don't even have any hands holding it. It's just a magic tuba. A fishing pole. Oh, I like it. It's sticking out from under the, the arm. It's just back there. Thanks, Julie. Julie doesn't mind my ukulele. Oh, it just... <laughs> Chris, my friend Chris, says a cheeky drink, uh, which is something us Aussies like to say, and I had to explain to her what a cheeky drink is. And uh, for the kiddies, we, we will just call it um, a fancy colourful drink. That's what a cheeky drink is. So she's just holding it over there. Maybe this, this one's strawberry, right? There we go, another cheeky drink. Thank you. So as you will see, my pigeon started out really simple, just a few lines, really easy to draw, and then you can add things to make them playful or interesting or funny or strange or um, whatever you like to, to tell us something about the story, to, to capture some essence of the character, who they are, what they want. Um, and that's kind of how I create my characters. I start simple and uh, build build from there as I learn about who the character is. Perfect.